Hello! Welcome to the So Indipitous blog. No time to read? No worries. Just listen and I'll read the blog to you. Let's explore sewing on the go, the convenience of portable English paper piecing projects. Sewing and quilting can be a therapeutic and fulfilling hobby, but finding the time and space to enjoy it can be challenging. Luckily, portable English paper piecing projects offer a solution to the constraints of a busy lifestyle. So let's talk about why English paper piecing is the perfect on-the-go project, explain how to get started, and offer some tips to maximize your portable piecing experience. What is English paper piecing? English paper piecing, or EPP, is a hand sewing method that involves wrapping fabric around pre-cut paper templates and sewing the shapes together. It's a traditional sewing technique that has been around for centuries and was popularized in the 19th century using hexagon templates. Today, it is a popular quilting technique for making intricate and beautiful designs. One of the benefits of EPP is its portability. Unlike machine sewing or traditional quilting, English paper piecing requires minimal equipment and you can take your project with you wherever you go. All you need is your fabric, a needle, thread, scissors, and pre-cut paper templates, making it an ideal option for quilters who want to work on a project while traveling, during their lunch break, or even waiting for an appointment. Getting started with EPP. To get started with EPP, you will need to gather some materials. The first step is to choose your fabric. You can use a variety of fabrics for EPP, including quilting cotton, silk, or even vintage fabric. It's important to choose fabrics that are lightweight and easy to work with. You will also need to select your paper templates. These can be found at your local quilt store or purchased online. Hexagon templates are popular, but other shapes such as diamonds, triangles, and pentagons are also available. Once you have your materials, you can start cutting your fabric into slightly larger pieces than your paper templates. Then wrap your fabric around your paper template and use a needle and thread to baste the fabric in place. Next, join your paper templates together using a whip stitch. This will create a precise and strong seam that will hold your fabric pieces together. If you're unfamiliar with the whip stitch, tons of how-to videos on YouTube can explain the technique. The benefits of English paper piecing. One of the benefits of EPP is that it allows you to create intricate designs that can be difficult to achieve with machine quilting. With EPP, you can create beautiful shapes and patterns, including hexagon flowers, diamonds, and star designs. EPP also allows you to use fabric scraps to create unique designs, reducing waste and saving money. When working on a portable EPP project, it's essential to have some tips to make the process as smooth and efficient as possible. Now for some English paper piecing tips. Firstly, consider investing in a small sewing kit with the tools you need to work on your project, such as needles, thread, and scissors. This kit should be easy to transport, and you can even make it yourself. Consider using a small container or pouch to store your templates, fabric pieces, and sewing kit. This will keep your materials organized and easily accessible, maximizing your portable sewing time. Another tip to keep in mind when working on portable EPP projects is to use a design board. A design board is a foam board or cork board covered with flannel fabric, and it allows you to arrange your fabric pieces to create a design without worrying about them falling off. This makes it easy to work on your project without needing a large work surface. In conclusion, English paper piecing is the perfect on-the-go project for quilters who want to work on a project wherever they may be. It's a hand-sewing technique that allows you to create beautiful, intricate designs using minimal equipment. If you need a little inspiration, a quick search on Pinterest for English paper piecing projects will get your creative juices flowing. We hope you have enjoyed this blog. Feel free to explore our many other articles and check back frequently for the most recent posts. If you have article ideas or comments, please leave them below. And remember, so indipitous is where unexpected happiness is found in every stitch.